First, our Five. BBC One Prime Four. Minister Gordon Brown Three. talks to Three. Three. One. The battle for your vote has begun. Good morning and welcome back. The television interviews, the speeches, the campaign tours. Yet all the election hullabaloo is underway without this man telling us when the actual vote will be. It would be handy if he gave us the election date, but that may be too much to hope for. The law says he must call it by June, and today his clearest hint yet that he's going to play it long. Is there going to be a Labour budget this spring? Of course there'll be a Labour budget if, uh, if, if, if it's at the right time, yes. Is there, but th th that's, is, is that a yes to a budget this I spring? I believe there'll be a budget this spring and it's the right so thing we, to do. So we, we can't look forward to an early general election? I, I'm not going to be boxed in, as I said. I said there'll be a Labour budget if, if it's at the right time. A budget can't be held before March, another little-known law. So that points to an election possibly in April, but most likely May. Mr Brown insisted he was the man to see Britain through tough economic times, but accepted he was also the underdog. I think when you're behind in the polls, you've got to regard yourselves as, as the fighter. And I've always fought. Everything I've ever won in my life, I've had to fight for. And, and, is that and everything I've ever won, uh, people have doubted whether it could be possible. The year is only three days old, and yet already the election campaign is changing tack. Before Christmas, Labour was focused on tough, occasionally class-based dividing lines with their opponents. The Tories talking of an age of austerity. But now both Gordon Brown and David Cameron are trying to strike a more positive, optimistic note. Do you remember lighting Bunsen burners at school? Oh, yes. But there are differences. The Prime Minister's focus is on education. So tomorrow he and the school secretary, Ed Balls, will promise more specialist teachers in primary schools, particularly in maths and foreign languages. Lindsay. Hello, Lindsay. Hi. But for David Cameron, the NHS is a priority, safe from spending cuts. Tomorrow he'll publish a draft health manifesto promising a new network of local maternity units and more health funding for deprived areas. We're very clear in saying we're going to cut the deficit, but we're not going to cut the NHS. Uh, and that means tough decisions will have to be taken in other parts of government. But that's the right way forward, we think. We think it's what the British people will want. Over time, Gordon Brown knows he might need Lib Dem support at Westminster. So today he talked of shared ideas on voting reform and climate change. I don't think anyone's going to be fooled. I, I think we've got... Gordon Brown clinging on to power and David Cameron promising phony change. If we want to do something really different, then we've got to vote for something really different. And the Liberal Democrats are the different party in British politics. That is all we've got time for, I'm afraid. Yeah, early, you right? join me again. One thing Gordon Brown was less open about today was where and when Labour might cut spending. For all the opening exchanges of this long campaign, it is there that the real battle lies. We've gone. Thanks, everyone. James Landell, BBC News, Westminster.